Welcome to the Wells Together video update. I'm Nicole Balza. Today we're filming live from the last day of the first Wells National Conference on Lutheran Leadership. Joining me today is Pastor Jonathan Hine, the Director of Wells Congregational Services, which coordinated the first Wells National Conference on Lutheran Leadership. Pastor Hine, can you explain to us why you decided to put on a Lutheran Leadership Conference? We've been working with churches for the last uh, decade, um, facing the struggles that are before all, all of American Christianity. And we just thought it would be good to come together, share some best practices of, on how to approach ministry uh, moving forward in post-Christian nation, share the importance of having uh, a healthy congregational culture, how members and, and pastors can work together. Um, we weren't sure about what, would the, what the interest would be. We thought there would be people interest, and there was way more than we could have ever dreamed, so we're excited. Can you give people a little bit of a feeling of what the National Leadership Conference has been like? Uh, it's just been nothing but positive energy. I mean, well, let, let's start with the worship services where we rolled out the new hymnal. Uh, um, just inspiring, uplifting uh, uh, worship services that spiritually edifying. Uh, then in the plenary sessions, we've, we've been talking about 30,000 foot uh, types of topics, just challenges before every single congreg congregation, and that's been moving and inspiring. And then yesterday in those 25 different breakouts, um, helping churches with very specific needs, whether it's rural evangelism or, or church leadership in a large church or using apologetics to try and retrain, retain 20 year, year olds. So I think that just what I've been hearing is people said the, con the, the, the conference has been both inspirational but also extremely p practical that they have ideas and resources that they can take back and implement immediately in their church. The networking is just fabulous and being here with all these like-minded Lutherans and you can get valuable ideas and maybe they don't all fit with your church or your location but there's going to be a few things that you can take home and start working on right away. Yeah, everybody can find something here that they can take home. So there's, there's a lot of little things that you can pick up as you go through. You meet a lot of interesting people, a lot of people that you've seen before. So. It's, it's fun to be encouraged to be better leaders back at home. So, Just besides the great presentations, uh, it's a way just to interact with the entire uh, Wells community, uh, see pastors, see uh, vicars if you're a SEM student or a teacher. Uh, just the communication and the family of believers is a great way to interact and uh, just to learn more together. I appreciate the fact that there are so many different workshops to attend. Um, a wide range of topics. It was really hard for me to choose, even though we were allowed a, a lot of choices. Um, there were so many I, I could hardly, you know, decide which ones not to do. But every one of them has been really good. It, it's such a, a a pleasure to come and learn from these learned people and have them share their ideas with us. It's great. What type of people um, from the congregations are here? It's a fantastic spread. Um, so of the 800, I think it's, I, I think the number is over a third uh, um, are non-called workers. It might even be closer to 40 percent. Um, we have almost 200 ladies here attending. Uh, um, obviously a lot of pastors and, and teachers and principals as well. Uh, it's been an incredible cross-section. I think one of the things that I found striking and maybe it's just because, you know, for like synod conventions, it's hard for people to take a week off, so you get a lot of retirees. Mm -hmm. um, so you look, and there's a, there's a lot of gray hair. We have a lot of young people here, young men and women, uh, uh, com coming here excited about serving their Lord and being uh, 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 just zealous in their outreach efforts. And so it's been fa a fabulous mix. With all the excitement and the positive things that have come out of this conference, are you guys planning a future conference? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, people, they're asking me, when's the next one? When's the next one? Um, I'm like, yeah, let me do an exit survey to find out what, you know, what, what people thought about like the venue. We know we're doing this again. I don't know exactly when or exactly where it'll be, um, but I would say within six months we'll be able to announce that. And just, I mean, registration filled up. We're going we're gonna to try and double. We had 800 people here. I'd love to see 1,500 to 2,000 at the next one. That sounds amazing. It's not just up to the pastors, it's not up to the teachers, it's up to our all of us. We're all one, we're all partners in one ministry and sharing the gospel and just a great opportunity for all of us to roll up our sleeves and dig in and start working. So, yep, I just I've really enjoyed everything so far. 
If you're interested in learning more about this conference or a future conference, visit lutheranleadership.com. Thank you for watching this Wells Together video update. Thank you.